Charles E's. Charles E's everything you need to know when you need to know it, man. George Floyd's brother. He just spoke. He was with one of the high ranking police officials and I believe it was in uh, New York City. That's the biggest police department, the NYPD in the country. And, and just like that's him to the left standing right behind this white guy, this policeman in front speaking. And he was kind of bashing protesters, people propelling, heralding the uprising. This is a common thread that I found between all the, the, uh, the people's family murdered by police, man. You know, they get Ben Crump out in front, police chiefs and everybody get to him. Then you hear a different note. You hear the family saying, don't loot, don't uprise, don't uproar, don't protest how you want to protest in my brother's name. I heard this guy, George Floyd's brother, say, if you want to show respect for my brother, you can, you can chant, you can hold your signs, and on and on. But this is, yeah, it was George Floyd that got killed this time, but this is bigger than George Floyd, man. And no one get to tell people how to protest. You looking at the Instagram of Amy Kobler. She's, everyone's waiting on uh, a sit, Attorney General Keith Ellison to speak. Yeah, but no one get to tell these protesters, these freedom fighters, how to protest, how to uprise. Right now, you're looking at Quincy Floyd, Georgia's son. No one get to tell them to do that, man. You can't tell these people if you ain't boots on the ground or whatever. You can't tell these people how to protest. That's why we, that's why we in the position we in now. Telling people how to pray to their God. Telling people how to lead. Telling people how to move in their day-to-day life. You don't get to do that, man. And all these families of these these murder victims and stuff, Ben Crump get to them. Once that check is on the way of being cut, they, okay, it's over now. Y'all be peaceful. Go on home. It ain't nothing to see. But this is bigger than George Floyd. Yeah, he the one right now. This is bigger than Trayvon Martin. Uh... Eric Garner, uh, Sandra Bland. This is 400 years, man. This is 400 years. Quit letting these politicians, civil rights activists, even the families of the victim get on here and tell you how to protest. This is bigger than any one individual, man. Respect to all the fallen. Condolences, but this is bigger than any one victim. For we all fall under the hand of oppression. Like I said, this is 400 years. You don't get to tell people how to protest, how to uprise, how to fight back. What words to say. How to act in front of the camera. People want immediate, instant relief. You don't have to have a plan. 
most uprisings and revolts in history, it wasn't no plan. When a motherfucker got his foot on your neck, it's only one plan to get immediate relief and get and to get that foot off your neck. It's nothing more at that moment, man. It is nothing after that. It's nothing more right then and there. Man, y'all ain't hearing me. I done spoke too long, man. Man, leave a comment, subscribe, share, like, man. Charles E's, everything you need to know when you need to know it. We waiting on Keith Ellison to come out and to say what well, we basically already know that they're going to charge the other cops, you know, with, with second degree murder and everything. Charles E's, I'm out.